Schizophrenia impacted me uh, when I was 24 years old. I didn't realize, but I had become psychotic. But I was also in mania, but I didn't know what either of those was. So I just felt like life was such a huge high at that point. Eventually, I was working on the farm. I started to notice the land was talking to me. And I'm a little bit of a hippie, so I just thought that was me connecting to the land. Eventually, though, it did get worse. The voices at first were just coming from the trees, the sky, the ocean, but then it pivoted. No longer being what I thought was the land talking to me, it ended up being what sounded like human voices. All of a sudden, you are worthless, you should die. This whole experience you made up in your mind, nothing actually exists. I didn't understand what was happening at that point. I started listening to the voices all the time. I started to lose kind of my perception of reality and start to do whatever the voices told me. And then I eventually became homeless within that time. One day I started talking to the voices and they led me to my friend's house. They told me to smash my friend's window and I gave my friend eye contact as I smashed their window. And then they brought me to the hospital. I was so delusional and disoriented that I didn't fully know what was going on. There came a point where they finally had me admitted to talk to a psychiatrist. I didn't even know they were a psychiatrist. At that point, I started seizuring, and I could f feel what I felt at the time, like the voices were trying to come out of me internally. I was under the ax, so I wasn't free to go on my own will. So they kept me there for several days, but then eventually they just discharged me. Um, the psychiatrist said I was exhibiting signs of schizophrenia, but there was no follow-up. I was just discharged. And I could have been more honest, but at that point, I did not want to be there. So I knew, well, I don't want them to keep me here prolonged. I'm going to act as normal as possible. If I had been more honest, though, they would have found out I had nowhere to go. So I ended up just being discharged and becoming homeless again. I'm a little bit upset that they didn't seem to mind rushing my discharge. After being discharged, I started to have a few extra moments of clarity where I'd all of a sudden realize, I'm homeless, this is not good. And then I started to realize, I do need some support of some kind, even if I wasn't willing to admit how much. So I eventually got some support through a local band in my community, and then they redirected me to getting mental health support. And that started the journey of very, very slowly getting better. It was not an easy road. It took a lot of time. I'm, I'm always still working on my mental health. I'll always have to kind of work at maintaining it to a certain degree. Currently, I work within Peer Support, which is a program that supports people with their mental health. So I oversee the peer support program. I just got promoted to the manager of that program. I also do tenant management for Supportive Housing Society, which supports people with housing that's affordable who also struggle with their mental health. Things that have helped me since going through that experience feel that it's valid to share what I've gone through, that I don't have to hide my struggles. That's probably been the most positive thing for me is to normalize how easy it is to struggle and then to also not know what to do and not to feel okay.